I've been at 7287 back again, and this time it's Game 3 of Jeopardy 2003 for the Hi, PC. Let's set up we begin our so far we have a, All right, take a look two at the game up. total of $10,800. Wizard of Oz for 200. The Wicked Witch of the West dies when Dorothy throws this on her. Player one. Well, there's water. Precisely. Pick again. Wizard of Oz 4. The three kinds of animals shredded about in the forest. Oh, my. Player one. Lions, what? What are lions, tigers, and bears? Definitely. Oh my! Where's F R six? It's the part of the tin man's head that Dorothy oils first. Anybody? What we were looking for was this. Mouth. Eight hundred. The warning on the haunted forest signpost says, "I'd." Do this if I were you. Well, it is turn Take around. Look. If I were you. Take a look. Here's the right response. This type of animal pulls the coach in the Emerald City. Player three. What is a horse of a different color? Precisely. Damn. Pick again. Line for 200. Now you gotta go with the iron. Extracting spot. Player three. Spot. What is a mine? Hey, you're correct. Oh, yeah. The oh. end of the line for 400? Cord made from strands twisted together. Player one. What is spine? No. T-W-I-N-E. Exactly. Uh -oh. End of the line for 600. Boars, hogs, and pigs collectively. Fair one. Well, that's fine. Hey, you're correct. End of the line for 800. The tomb of a holy person. What was it? Wine. Finish off. This adjective that means pertaining to God is used in the title of a comedy by Dante. Player two, what is divine? Hey, you're correct. How about baseball for 200? On September 27, 1998, in his final at bat, this Cardinal hit his 70th home run of the season. Player 
Who is Mark McGuire? Exactly. Baseball for 400. On April 4th, 1997, the new Turner Field opened with this home team defeating the visiting Cubs 5-4. What were the Atlanta Braves? That's who we were looking for. Baseball for six. In 1997, this Jim Leyland managed team became the first wild card to win a World Series. Is that it? Anyone? Take a look. Here's the right response. Florida Marlins. 800. Answer? The Daily Double. Make Uh, 200. This Dodger won 27 games in 1966, but retired at season's end due to an arthritic arm. Player one. Who is Jackie Robinson? Good answer, but sorry, that's wrong. What we were looking for was Sandy Colfax. When this Brooklyn field opened in 1913, Borough President Alfred Steers tossed out the first ball. Oh, I don't know that one. Anyone? Player three. What is Wrigley Field? Oh, that's incorrect. Here's what we were looking for. Ebbets Field. Sports Legends for two. In 1994, this boxer was named Associated Press Male Athlete of the Year, 20 years after losing his heavyweight title to Muhammad Ali. Player one. 20 years. Who is Joe Fraser? No, sorry. Is that it? Anyone? Who is George Foreman? Hey, you're correct. Oh. Sports Legends for 400. This female tennis star was ranked in the WTA Top 10 for 20 straight years, 1975 to 1994. No, I was going to say Billy Jean King. Here's what we were looking for. Martina. Sports Legends ah. for 600. On September 8, 1998, Mark McGuire broke Roger Maris's home run record in Bush Stadium against this Chicago team. Was either the Cubs or the anyway. White Sox? Take a look. The Cubs. Here's the right response. He's a one. It was a 50 50. For 800. Steve Largent and this 49ers receiver have caught more than 100 career touchdown passes. Is that it? Anyone? I know it. I know his name. Jerry Wise. Oh. I'll try the Dr. Noguchi file for 200. Oh. Famed medical examiner Dr. Noguchi was a model for this Jack Klugman TV character. Player two? Who was Quincy? Bingo. Hey, you're correct. The Dr. Noguchi file for 400. Dr. Noguchi autopsied this actress whose death in August 1962 is still the subject of debate. Anyone? Marilyn Monroe. I don't know. Here's what we were looking for. Oh, I said the wrong the end. The Dr. Noguchi file for 600. Who is John Belisi? Hey, you're correct. Finish up Sports Legends Thousand. In 1965, he was named Indy 500 Rookie of the Year. Son Michael won the same award in 1984. 
Let's go Beat me to the point. The Dr. Noguchi file for 800. Oh. The appropriate one word title of Coroner Dr. Noguchi's 1983 bestseller. Well, that's quack. What we were looking for was this. Coroner. The Dr. Noguchi <coughs> file for a grant. Dr. Noguchi concluded that in 1981, this star of Rebel Without a Cause lost her life less than 200 yards from shore. Player three. Who is Natalie Wood? Precisely. That was the one. Pick again. Precisely. Pick again. Let's try Foolish Fashion Fads. For 200. In the early 1800s, these were so high and starch, the points might cut a man's ears if he moved too quickly. Anyone? I was going to say, anyways. What we were looking for was this. Oh, starch to call us. Foolish fashion fads for 400. Born in the 1500s, Chopin's an exaggerated style of these could make the wearer 18 inches taller. Nobody? This is the correct question. Oh, platform Foolish fashion machines. fads for 600? These 18th century dandies noodled around in extremely high wigs topped with tiny little hats. I don't know. Anyone? No. Take a look. Here's the right response. Okay. Foolish fashion fads for 800. The bustle named for this Jersey Lily collapsed when a lady sat down and sprang back when she stood up. Anyone? Nope. Take a look. Here's the right response. Lady Lang 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 Tree. The final answer on this board. Talk about fashion risks. This dancer wore a scarf so long, it actually strangled her in 1927. Anyone? Player two? Who was Anna Pavlova? Good guess. But it's not what we're looking for. Anybody? What we were looking for was this. Isadora Duncan. Oh, that's the first you're time we ever you're had a tie. Player three, you're doing well, so keep it going. Player two, you're in last place, but you do get to start things off first in double jeopardy. The very doubles. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double jeopardy. Here are the categories for the double jeopardy round. U.S. coins. Name that novel. Resort city. Oh, oh, okay, the last one, I'm not sure about that. Okay, resort cities for 400. In 1986, voters of this California resort made Clint Eastwood's day by electing him mayor. Where one? What is Cal, um, Cal Resort City Troy. This fashionable Colorado ski getaway was named by prospectors for the trees in the area. Player three. What is Pine Top? Good guess. But it's not what we're looking for. Nobody? I'm thinking. Player one. What is Aspen? Exactly. I had a thought about that. Resort City for 12. What is... What is Jersey Shore? Good answer, but sorry. That's wrong. 
Oh, that kind of sad. What is Atlantic City? Definitely. Oh. Resort cities. Yeah, kind of that one. And that kind of screwed that one up. France, dumb. Resort cities for 2000. Yalta, a Crimean health resort, was the site of an important conference during this 20th century war. Anyone at all? <gasps> Take a look. Here's World War II. I'll try foolish phraseology. Okay, we're gonna try this. This wife of George Burns was so surprised by her birth, she couldn't talk for a year and a half. Player three. Who was Gracie Allen? Exactly. Oh yeah, the phrase. Can I Gracie? Foolish phraseology. Four eight hundred. According to this Alice in Wonderland poet, the snark was a boojum, you see. Anyone at all? This is foolish. I don't know the. <laughs> Oh, Lewis Carroll. Foolish phraseology oh, for 1200. I ain't in no slump, asserted this former Yankee baseball player. I just ain't heavy. Player one. Who is Babe Ruth? Oh, no, sorry. Anyway. I'm um, starting to go down. What we were looking for was this. Yogi Bear. Foolish phraseology for 1600. Constant leader flowed up this round table whip rope after finding the house at Blue Corner hard to swallow. Player three. Who was Dorothy Parker? Yes, it was her. So pick again. Oh, was Dorothy Parker? Foolish I never heard of her. For I'm gonna be so pissed to get this. Two thousand. Doctor said, "Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang." Player three. Who was Doctor John? Wog. It was the rich doctor. I'd like a musical category for four hundred. Just gotta get some help. Girl, you know it's true. Was the ironic title of a hit by this fraudulent duo. Player two. Platinum blonde. No, no, sorry. Player one. Millie. Who are Millie Vanilli? Hey, you're correct. Yes. Musical category for eight. This record company, founded by Barry Gordy Jr., celebrated its 40th anniversary in 1998. Quincy. Album. Uh, Motown Records. This band recorded Dark Side of the Moon. Dark Side of the Moon. Take a look. Pink yeah, Floyd. Musical category 16. Precisely. Oh, Jenny McCartney, of A course. musical category for 2000. New York Magazine called it everyone's favorite orphan musical. Player one. What is Annie? Definitely. U.S. coins for 400. The design of the Franklin Half Dollar includes a deliberate crack in this object. Player one. That is the Liberty Bell. Precisely. Pick again. U.S. coins for eight. The face value of the one ounce gold American Eagle is fifty dollars. This is the face value of the one tenth ounce. Player two. What is five dollars? Yes. 
Oh, five dollars. U.S. coins for one thousand two hundred. The figure on a Mercury dime is actually Liberty wearing these on her head, like Mercury. Where are three? What are wings? Exactly. Oh. U.S. coins wings. for sixteen hundred. On the back of some of the Denver Mint's nineteen thirty-seven pickles, this animal is missing a leg. A buffalo. Well, I never noticed Let's that. Let's go for name that novel for four hundred. Before I left the castle, I so fixed its entrances that never more can the count enter there undead. Fair one. What well, is never more? What well, is the raven? Good guess, but it's not what we're looking for. Twenty eight hundred. Dracula! I'll try North American Explorers for 400? In the winter of 1857, Randolph Marcy led a heroic march across these Colorado mountains. What are the Rocky Mountains? Son of a bitch! Yes. North American Explorers for 800. In 1755, John Finley tempted this young Daniel with tales of Kentucky lands he had seen. Blue Greens. Player two? Who was Daniel Boone? Exactly. Oh yeah, Daniel Boone. North American Explorers for 1,200. Nathaniel Pitt Langford explored and became the first superintendent of this colorful and first U.S. National Park. Player one. What is Yellowstone? Okay, to complete this game, North American Explorer 1600. A hole in Wyoming is named for this 19th century explorer and mountain man. I know it's Jackson. Who was Jesse Chisholm? Oh, that's incorrect. Never heard of him. It's Jackson. This is what we want. David Jackson, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. That makes sense. Well, actually, it's true, though. In 1631, Luke Fox proved Hudson Bay doesn't lead to this much sought passage. Anyone? What is? I don't know. Take a look. Here's Northwest the Passage. Finish up U.S. coins, 2000. Susan B. Anthony. Name the novel. 800. Four legs good, two legs bad. Player two? What is Animal Farm? Definitely. Uh oh. Name that novel for 1200. I have told you, reader, that I had learned to love Mr. Rochester. I could not unlove him now. Anybody? Ugh. Jane in uh, Henry. Henry. One thousand six hundred. Liddy said, "I might just as well go away. George ain't gonna let me tend no rabbits now." What is of my man? Definitely. Here's the final answer on this board. What a pretty little Nell! Cried Quill. Don't what? say to kill a mockingbird. Take a look. Here's the right response. Oh, the old curse is solved. That's the end of the round. Player one, you've got the lead going into Final Jeopardy. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. You're trailing player three, but there's plenty of game left. It's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll read the category, then give you a few seconds to consider your wager. 
famous names. Oh boy. Go ahead. Make your wager. How much I'm in now? Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Here's the final there Jeopardy answer. Good luck. At this scuba pioneer's death in 1997, Jacques Chirac called him probably the best known Frenchman in the world. Who was? Shock. Coof. I don't know if they're going to do with the pronunciation. I'm hoping that will be him. Player three, your question. Sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Your question, player two. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Player one, say your question. Two stone. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Take a look, here's the right response. Custo. Oh, that's how you pronounce the yeah. Congratulations to our winner. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of our business, then we'll get to our game. That was, um, corny and lasting into Final Jeopardy. Well, I couldn't even get his last name because I messed up pronunciation. But, I indeed always came out as a winner. A winner. A winner. Oh my god. A winner. I'm thinking hot dogs all of a sudden. I'm not that hungry. No. No. <laughs> not. No. <laughs> okay. Alright. At 5200. And. To the 10,800, we'll get a three game total of $16,000. This I'll uh, embark as a winner. Oh, a winner, win a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Try to say that ten times fast. Well, I thank you. I watch Jeopardy 2003 for the PC tomorrow night. Either that's going to be the final Jeopardy PC game or one of the Wheel of Fortune games. Till then, I see you all there.